thing now is we can get the fuck out of here if we want. Can't get you out of my What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to some more scrap mechanics. So I've been playing around a little bit off, off uh, recording, just trying to figure some things out. Uh, the next thing I'm really interested in trying, I don't know if it's going to work or not, is making treads for this thing. Now I immediately know that this thing's not going to be able to turn with treads, because unfortunately you can't program each wheel to go backward and forward, therefore you can't do tank turning, because all tank turning essentially is, is one side going in reverse, and one side going in forward to make the thing rotate. Uh, I cannot do that, so the only thing I could do is make tank tracks... Uh, and attach them to the vehicle, and it can only go straight forward and straight backwards. But I'm just curious to see if I can, in fact, do it. It's kind of a challenge to myself to see if this is possible. Now, I have been playing around, as you can see. I think this is probably my, my best idea to kind of just do these metal beams with um, bearings on each side of them. If you actually look here, you'll see what's going on. So each one of these is a bearing, and of course, it makes kind of like a chain of metal all around this. Now, I wasn't able to finally connect it, but I think I can probably do that. And then we obviously need to do some way of keeping this track on my creation. I'm probably going to try and expand these wheels out so it tightens the tracks, similar to something like Besiege. Um, and also put something on this side of it so it doesn't fall off the tire. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do today. Just try and make some tank tracks and see if it's even possible. Now obviously this one didn't work, so can I just like whack it off or is it gonna make me actually delete all of it? It's looking like it is going to make me delete all of it, but you can see how it works. It's pretty much just kind of like, it's a lot like chain right now. Uh, it can't bend sideways though, so that's actually good for tank tracks. Uh, that way it won't fall off as much. But yes, it's looking like I'm going to have to delete every one of these damn blocks. That is extremely annoying. Uh, so I don't want to screw up again because this is going to take me a good few minutes to just delete all of this. Okay, so I actually got rid of all my wheels and tracks here because I do want to set up the tightening mechanism first. That way, you know, when we build the tracks, we don't have them just falling off our creation. So what I want to do here is put a bearing on the outside and we're going to attach... Not one, but I think two to this, and then we can rotate that to the right, and that's going to expand the wheel outwards, therefore tightening the track. Okay, now it's just all about connecting these up, so we're going to do that to that, and that to that. Again, this is not going to have any turning right now, because I have no idea how I could possibly do it. So we want this one to go blue, so it's two, we definitely want to go blue, I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right by 90 degrees. Let's check the, all the other ones, because I don't know how the rotations are. This one, we're going to want to go red. So three is going to want to go into the red by 90 degrees. And finally, what does the last one need? Four wants to go into the blue by 90 degrees. Now, hopefully I got this right. I'm starting to truly understand how these um, rotation editors work. Now, of course, as always, you need to get rid of this. There we go. It's on the ground. That's a good sign. It's still... Uh, in one piece. Now the big question is, when I press this, do all of them go the right way? Yes, perfect. So there we go. Now we have a tank tread stretcher. I don't know if it's going to be big enough, but it looks like it's working, so that is perfect. And I can't drive the car for whatever reason. Is it not? What the hell's going on? Is it not? There's, there's an engine's on. I'm real. The engine is not connected to anything. What? Is it? It's connected to the damn seat. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh, I got it connected to the wheels. I am an idiot. Sorry. Okay, so we're just going to power up that wheel and that wheel. Uh, I guess it, as we are doing a tank, we should do all four wheels because I feel like the power should be in each of the wheels. So let's do that. And finally, that. Uh, there we go. That should be good. Everything looks good. Let's just make sure. And we're going forward. And we're going backwards. Again, we cannot churn with this thing currently. Okay, but now on to the hard part. Figuring out how to put tank treads on this without them falling off and also fully connecting them. Because you kind of got to plan ahead here. You can't do it like Besiege where you just have things floating. Like, for example, let me, let me show you. With, with, with Besiege, I could go out here, put a block here, and then delete these two blocks and that block would still stay there. This In this game, it actually falls, which makes creations a hell of a lot more difficult. You have to think ahead here. So, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna sit here for a second and just try and figure this out. Okay, so I got a good start here, I think. The question is, is it gonna be even enough at the end when it comes all the way around to connect back to this? I have no idea. Also, 
Shit, it's going to be extremely difficult to keep this together as well when we're doing that. Actually, you know what? I think I screwed up already, so we're going to see. The problem is, one mistake like that, and I got to delete something, and then, of course, everything is ruined. But what I want to do, actually, is plan ahead here and put a bearing right here, which I forgot to do. Now I can start building from this, connect to the bottom of this one, and it will still be connected at the end of it. At least I hope so. Well, that's a good sign. Right at the final chain here, it ends right at the end of the tire, meaning once I tighten this, it should be extremely tight, assuming uh, nothing else really bad happens here. I guess going down here, though, it's actually going to be shit, kind of difficult. I might have to go down one extra one here because, as you can see, no, actually, I do need to go down this far anyways. And this is where it gets a really difficult to understand because is it going to be tight enough? I have no idea. Now, the thing that I'm worried about right now is, is it going to be... Shit, I don't think it's going to be on the correct side when we get up there, because if we attach it now and put it down, one, two... Actually, I think we're good here, guys. I think we're good. I might be a little confused, but I think we might have it. So just connect this to this. Now, I'm hoping these two stick together. If these two stick together, we're good. I got to delete this. Fuck! See, that's the problem! Now, how am I supposed to connect that to that without it falling apart? God damn it, I was so close! Okay, so what I gotta do... I, we're at the same problem here. When I delete this piece, everything is obviously going to fall off. So I gotta kind of weld these two together while I'm trying to do this. So I wonder if I can just do something like... This, and that's going to hold that in place. And now... Really? Why? Why would you not stick together? Oh my god! And here we go again. The moment of shame of deleting all these fucking pieces again. I know I'm so close though, so I'm really dedicated to try and see if this is workable. Okay, so I'm trying a different method here. This might be good. I'm really confused. I'm actually worried that this final block, regardless of what you do, it will not connect to two blocks. I don't think it will. But we're going... You know what? Actually, let's do something different here. We're going to do this. I feel like if I do this, it's immediately connected. And I have no idea if that works or not. But this is officially the full track. It's all set up. Now, all I need to do is just delete these final couple blocks here. Uh, let me make sure this is all right. So, come on, please. Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So, that's a good sign. That's- oh, that is not a good sign. You see? That is my freaking problem. It is not connected on that final fucking block. So, we- we got a little bit of a hanger here. God damn it. How am I supposed to connect that then? There's no fucking way to do this? This is bullshit. Okay, so I tried a different method here. Obviously, the tank track is a little too big, but... Just really curious, is this even able to do it too? Let's find out. No, god damn it. There's gotta be... There's gotta be some way. I gotta be overlooking something so simple. But I just cannot grasp it right now as to why it's not working. Let's just, out of curiosity, I just want to see how tight this would be. If it was to be fully connected together. I have no idea if I'll have any idea how to do it. Okay, I can't even really tell because, again, it's so... God damn it, I'm just so mad. I just wanted a tank track. That is definitely not one of them. Okay, so I got some bad news, guys. Unfortunately, I talked to my buddy Blitz, a fellow YouTuber that's done a bit more scrap mechanic than me, so he kind of knows the uh, game a little bit better than myself. And he says it's currently impossible to attach one block to two different blocks, so I cannot end that track. Uh, it's impossible right now, essentially. You can't add a block to two blocks, therefore you can't finish a chain link for your actual track system. Uh, the good news is, though, developers have stated they are in development building a welding tool, so when that tool is implemented, I know exactly how to build this now, and I am so damn pumped to put some treads on this thing. Now, I could end this here and it could be boring, but I actually want to try something else. This other, this gave me a new idea with this uh, kind of moving thing here. You can actually make it go a hell of a lot higher. Now, if I can make it go really high and put some rockets on the bottom, maybe I can make this sucker fly. And that sounds pretty freaking fun. So we're going to try that out today, and because uh, I, I, I don't want to end this without, you know, doing something at least exciting. Uh, and, and I know you guys love watching that as well. So this is gonna be a quick. This is gonna be a quick fix, though. We already have pretty much everything set up. I just got to uh, bring the blocks down a little bit and put some rockets on the bottom, and we should be good to go. 
I'm also gonna add churning back to it because, well, we probably need churning. That would be a good idea, but okay. So how many blocks do we actually want? The question is, how big is a rocket? Let's find out. Where are you, Mr. Rocket? There we go. Uh, the big wheel we don't need currently. So let's just put a rocket right there, just for size reference more than anything, to make sure we have enough room to drive around with the rockets below us. Okay, that, that should be good enough then, because we are going to add a tire to that as well. Oh, that's the big tires. I'm an idiot! I, I got rid of the wrong tire, so... Doesn't that look like a bigger tire, though, than this one? Oh, this... Okay, this is the small one. What the... I'm confused. No, this is the... What?! Okay, this... Is this the bigger one? I am... It's, it's not the bigger one. Did, did, did they screw up? Because this tire is considered heavyweight, this tire is considered medium weight, and that's the big one. I don't really get that. That's what was confusing me so much. Anyways, I'm wasting time here. I gotta get rid of that, because I gotta put a bearing on it. And we got one tire done here. Not too bad. Okay, so there we go. I think I got pretty much everything set up. Obviously, I gotta put a few more rockets on, uh, underneath here. Let's do that right now. Later on, though, again, a lot of these projects that I'm doing with my house, my transformable house and everything, I want to add more and more as we go down the line here. So this is going to be very basic right now, but later on, maybe I can d design something to move these rockets so we can control it in the air. As it sits right now, I just want to go up. I don't care. I, I want lots of power down here, and I want to fly this sucker. Okay, so there we go. This is not going to be even at all. We got one, two, three, four, five. So we got ten <laughs> rockets on the bottom. God damn it, I can't wait to see this sucker lift off. You know what? Let's add one more row just for the hell of it. We're just going to use metal here. Again, we're using metal and stone for this creation. It's, it's, it's not a pretty one right now, but that's, that, that, that's, that's later on. We'll do that. There we go, there we go, and just delete that. Look at that sucker. <laughs> Oh shit, we got one problem here. I forgot, when I use the W key, both the wheels and rockets are powered. Now I wonder if I can connect the rockets to a switch, therefore I can just hit a button when I want to use them. I gotta assume that's possible, so let's, um... Can we just delete these connections? I just... Oh, god damn it! You know what, let's just delete them all. It's so much easier than trying to deal with all these connections, because it's getting pretty confusing looking at it. Okay, so let's just make sure my base model is working. So, okay, my... <laughs> My wheels are all fucked up. I forgot to fix them. That one's going the right way. This one's going the right way. These two are probably going the wrong way. Therefore, I was doing a little bit of a circle. Yes, that is exactly the problem. So this should be good to drive. I don't know how good it is. Actually, for how top-heavy it is, not too bad, honestly. And we can also low-ride this thing if we want. There we go. That's awesome. Um, I don't really know the point of that because we're going to have rockets down there anyway, so we can't really low-ride it with the rockets there. But we'll, we'll figure out something later on. I know there's a way to do this. It's just finicky. I wonder if I can just connect straight to a button. Let's see here. So I can, can I connect this to this? Yes. Now can I connect that to this? Yes. Okay. And that button turns them on. Okay, so... I think we can do this now. What the fuck is going on with this one? All right, so for whatever reason, this connection lost its connection to this. <laughs> there we go. Wow, okay. Let me just make sure. Is everything okay now? Can I... I can't... Okay. God damn it, I gotta reset this as well. This game sure is not liking me today. So we got number four here. We just want this to go into the red uh, by 90 degrees. Let's just make sure everything's okay once again. Always want to double check because clearly it's pretty easy to screw up in this game. Let's try it. All right, good. Fabulous. Now, the final question I have is, can I attach multiple rockets to one switch? If I can't do that, this is going to be even more of a headache. Come on, please, 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 please. Thank God. Okay. We are officially good then. I just got to fill this in with the rest of the rockets. You know what? Let's just add a few more just for shits and giggles. So we got three on each side as well. Screw it, right? More is always better. Okay, now it's the fun process of making sure every one of these is connected. I'm just going to hope for the best here and connect all of them. Again, this isn't going to be an accurate flyer. This is just something you use if you want to, you know, climb a million feet really quickly and get the, get away from someone. Okay, that looks like they are all connected, I think. I hope I'm not missing any. No, that, that looks really good. Okay, so I am excited. Finally something that worked out this episode. So we can drive... I mean, it's extremely heavy now because of how many rockets are on it. I'm actually dragging them on the ground. But the fun thing now is we can get the fuck out of here if we want and fly the fuck away. Oh my god, okay, let's stop that for a second. That was 
really loud. It's actually quite stable, and I can use the wheels, actually, to balance it in the air. I wonder if I can turn it a bit as well. No, it just seems like I can... But that means I can actually use wheels as gyroscopic, gyro, gyroscopic stabilizers, which is freaking huge. That means I can control this in the air, um, which I'm excited about. So maybe I can add a few more wheels on this later and then fly it around accurately. All right, let's try this again here. And really what I want to utilize it for is, for example, if I don't want to go through these woods, let's just uh, press a button here and kind of go over them. I, I guess I should put a rocket on the back as well so I can kind of control this. You know what, I think I am gonna do that. Now that I know I can, I can attach them to switches, I can probably control this in the air pretty well. Like, you can see that just me moving the wheels stabilizes this extremely well. Okay, so let's land this sucker right through the tree, no big deal. Why does it keep landing sideways, you freaking bastard? But now, we can either do gyroscopic controls in the air, or just rocket controls in the air. So I'm gonna try and actually build a few more things here. We're going to put some rockets in the back, that way we get forward thrust and backwards thrust. Rockets in the front. We'll do one rocket in the front, because we'll never need to use that. Uh, and just for shits and giggles, let's try some on the side as well. This thing looks awful right now, but it's gonna fly great. And we need, uh, well, we need four more buttons, because we want one button for each turning. So, three four there we go and now i gotta do this correct so i want this one well i guess two would be to go f to go up let's do three to go backwards so did that, did that what the hell did i just do i can't even tell what's going on anymore there's no new button that's what's worrying me there's no new sorry there's no new number on the button oh yeah i probably got to connect the button to the seat there we go okay let's do that first four five Six. Okay, now <laughs> I'm getting really confused. So four, we want to uh, use forward thrust, I guess. That's probably be the best idea here. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to grab four and do that. And then five will be left thrust. And six will be right thrust. I hope this is making sense, or at least some sense. You'll understand it when we're in the air. Uh, let's grab this... Oh, shit, shit. I didn't mean to turn on the button. Okay, well, at least we know it works. Let's just test it out here. So we got backwards, forwards, left, right. That's all you need. That is all you need. It's, it's going to be a very basic flyer, but God damn it, is it going to fly now? I'm excited. Okay, so let's try this out again here. Up we go, and let's turn. Nope, not that one. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh. Ow. That looks like it definitely hurt. Um, so yeah, we need some sort of balancing. Oh god, am I stuck? Help. Okay, it, it, it kicked me out, thank god. Okay, but it's very primitive, but it's got potential. That That's the biggest thing. I can improve this as we go on. The fact that I can fly in the air and I can go in every direction is huge. Oh shit, I did it again. That, that That's a big issue. I'm gonna have to move these buttons or something because I keep accidentally clicking them when I'm trying to get to my damn seat. But yes, let's try this one more time here. Let's see if I can get a good flight going. We definitely want to put these forward. All right, stop, 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 please. Oh, for fuck's sakes, we are... Yeah, okay. Definitely needs some work. But the fact that we can get air and we can kind of control it, definitely nice. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I'm sorry it wasn't, you know, a perfect flight. But I don't even think the Wright Brothers had a perfect flight the first try. So, yeah. Next time, we'll probably improve this a bit. Maybe play around with our house. And uh, do some other fun stuff as well. So as, as always, guys, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one.